So at the core of this wheel on the right, you'll see um, in that middle is an inventory. To get that inventory, we are going to place an agent on your machines to get that exhaustive software inventory. Um, those familiar with Asset Core, so that's the solution that's going to be utilized through your Remedy Force console. You will be accessing Asset Core to provision up, if you will, any of the data points for your software license management. Asset Core is a very broad solution. We're just going to focus in on the software license management component. So if you're looking at the bullets on the left, I've listed really um, all of the um, aspects of Asset Core, but we're going to focus in on um, bullet number four and five because those are the two that have to do with the software license management. Flipping the slide here, I'm talking about intelligent software management and what does that mean? So you'll notice again several bullets there on the left. And what we're going to enable you to do is manage your software licenses. So there's several initiatives there. The ability to, of course, monitor all your deployments. And again, with the agent that resides on the endpoints, we're going to be able to see what software you've actually deployed or what has been installed on that machine. You'll also get into the aspect of tracking what's actually being used on an endpoint. Sometimes in environments, we purchase the software. If we've paid a fee for the software, we'd like to know if it's actually being utilized on any given set of machines. If it's not being utilized, that would be a good candidate for removal so that we have that software available for someone else. What we're doing is arming you with that data so you can, again, make those intelligent decisions. You'll also see under there the ability to block unauthorized applications. So since you've done a very exhaustive inventory, you're going to be able to now say what can be run or not in the environment. And you can set up jobs that will block certain applications from running. Um, the verifying of the compliance is you being able to say what software is authorized in the environment. You can also put that on timetables. So iTunes is a good example especially with people with laptops. If they want to run it after hours, you don't have any problem with that. But during hours, maybe you don't want them running that software. So you can say between 8 and 5, this application is not able to be run. The second bullet there talks about um, normalization of software suites. So Microsoft is a good example. They have standard, they have professional, and there are modules that make up each of those. So we have a software catalog that has basically normalized that so when you do your discovery, it's going to fold itself under one of those um, data points. So you don't have to maintain yourself. Here's all the modules that make up um, professional, and here are all the modules that make up standard. And then as you're doing your discovery, drop certain machines in the buckets. We're doing that for you. And then finally, the reporting aspect. So for each of the solutions in Asset Core, you get out-of-the-box reports. You get that as well with the software license management. So we're going to provide you some out-of-the-box reports that you can run that pertain to any of these initiatives that we're talking about. So if you want to track utilization, if you want to track which licenses are coming under expiration, those type of CAN reports will be available to you as well. You can walk through the wizard and create your own report if the data points that you are after are not in those out-of-the-box reports. Okay, so with that, let me move into the demonstration. I'm going to share out my desktop here. And what I've gone into is my Remedy Force console. So again, being that this is a Remedy Force uh, crowd, you're probably all familiar with this console. So this is where your technicians are coming in to resolve any of the um, issues that have come up in the environment. Specifically, I've landed myself in the incident console, and I'm on um, this 542 incident. So of all the issues that have been raised, I'm landing on one. Um, what you are able to do with Remedy Force is assign a particular configuration item to this incident. So as we scroll down, you'll see under the service and CI details, I have a configuration item. So this is one of my machines in the environment that I have placed that asset core agent on. So at this point, I can populate him and then see some detail that asset core has gained from this particular endpoint. So what I'm going to do is up here on the upper right, 
under the agent tools, we have CI actions or configuration item actions that I can take on this machine. Again, this is going to be data that's um, going through my the agent that I have on the machine. So through my asset core solution, it's bringing this information back to me. So by way of an example, I'll just hit the inventory summary. So you can see quickly what that data is that it's bringing back. And what I'm going to do is go into the software. So this is telling me quickly all the software that's installed on this machine. So when we start talking about software compliance, we need to know quickly, okay, what software is on this machine. The other thing I'm able to do from Asset Core that we saw in the presentation is start building a lot of data points around what it is we want to capture um, with uh, respect to my software licenses. So here, just let me close this really quickly, and you'll notice um, as well under the CI actions, I have this concept of advanced actions. So this is where in my Asset Core console, I've built up additional points that I want to perform. So I'll just show this really quickly, and then what we'll do is go into the Asset Core console so you can see how you populate this basically with anything you want to enable your technicians to do on, a, on, a work, on, a, on an endpoint. Okay, so here let me just, um, we'll just cancel this. Again, this is the advanced action, so what we're going to do is go into Asset Core and see how we populate this list. So here I'm going into my Asset Core console. And I'll point out a couple things. Now, I myself have been doing systems management for the better part of 10 years. So I say that because I've used many solutions. So Alteris, Dell, SCCM, et cetera. What I liked about the Asset Core console was everyone is doing some type of systems management, but this allows you to quickly um, realize a quicker learning opportunity. So there's not much of a learning curve when we're going into Asset Core, mainly because of two things. I have wizards down here at the bottom. And you'll remember before I said I'm going to go out here and I need to do an exhaustive inventory, and I have to do that with an agent that I place on the endpoint. So you can see I have a wizard that's going to let me discover my assets, and then I also have one that lets me um, roll out that agent in my environment. So again, I don't have to be an expert. Really all I'm doing is walking through a wizard and answering the questions that are being asked of me so that I can put that agent on the machine and again kind of now fold into my management of my software licenses. The other concept that we have is this instant expert. And the instant expert is more task-oriented. So by way of an example, I've already um, pushed the agent out there so we have some good data points out there. But here it's saying, what tasks do I want to perform? Well, I want to manage my application licenses. So when I click, now it's going to walk me through step by step what I need to do to accomplish that. So again, it's just really stepping through these. I think there are some, yes, three steps with options that enable me to do software license management. Okay, so what I'm going to do is close my wizards, and I'm going to open this console, and we're going to step through the um, application wizard. So here at the top, I'm going wizards, application management. And you can see on the left, my steps will enumerate as I answer various questions here on the right. So three options that we'll do here. The first one is automatically manage my software licenses. So here I'm just going to hit Next. And you'll notice I have two additional steps that I need to do. I'm going to go ahead and click the green plus. The other thing is these icons, as I roll across them, they're giving you that context-sensitive um, help. So here it's allowing me to add software from the software catalog. So again, this was the bullet point around the normalization. We're providing you with a software catalog that has a lot of the enterprise-level applications. So you get that in addition to whatever you scan and find in your environment. So here you can see it's landed on manufacturers, so I can look through the catalog at my various manufacturers. I can search, let me and here what I'm able to see, business function, uh, maybe I want to see the computer games or Internet software, so when I choose that and switch it to um, uh, family, I can see different options come up. And then I can just search. So here we'll opt for manufacturer. We'll go ahead and choose this acro and we'll save the cute PDF and we'll add that. So when I do that, the next thing it's asking me is, do you want to monitor 
this software, and then how many licenses have you purchased? So here we'll go ahead and say monitor, and let's stick in, we'll just say 1,000. Now, um, the assigning of devices. So what you're going to notice when I click this icon is it's going to pull in my Active Directory structure. So here I can assign it based on groups you've already created, or we can create additional ones inside of Asset Core that are basically um, the ones that you want to target for this specific software. So here we'll go ahead and say English, and let's go All Devices, and we'll say OK. And you'll see here I'm saying that this is unauthorized software. So if someone has this software, they're basically out of compliance because I have not authorized this software to be running in my environment. And what I'm going to do at this point is look at all my devices and see who's in or out of compliance. Okay, a um, couple other um, icons here at the top. The second one just lets me remove a specific device group, and then this third one would allow me to switch my status from unauthorized to authorized. Okay, so here I'll hit uh, Finish, and we're going to go to the licensed software. Now what you'll see is it's taken me in my console over to my Qt PDF. So that's the application that we just built up. And what I've got, let me get a little real estate back here. What I've gone to is the dashboard. So there I'm saying I purchased 1,000 licenses. I have um, 1,000 available. And here I'm saying all, and I'm just mousing over this, all 77 um, of the devices. So in that all devices category, I have 77 machines are unauthorized. And then here um, under my compliance, I can see I have 76 of the machines that are compliant, but only one is non-compliant. This dashboard is interactive, so when I click, it takes me in so I can see quickly um, the, the machines that are compliant. I'm going to switch my drop down here and just say all results, and I can see there's the one that's the uh, not compliant. So we go and look at this machine, and this is going to be similar to what we saw in the Remedy Force console. I'm going to go the amped client. I'm going to go under his inventory. Um, we're going to go into software, and we'll just look at the scanned applications. And you can look at this one of two ways. You'll see here at the top, I can look at all the software. I can look at the things that have uh, registered with add and remove programs, etc. So here we'll just um, scoot down a little bit, and we can see about a quarter of the way down I have that cute PDF application. Again, we already knew that I had at least one machine that had this in the environment based upon that dashboard. So at this point, it's arming you. So you may have um, not purchased any licenses for this. I can see someone's running it. Do they actually need it? So it's arming you with the information. Do you want to remove it from this machine, or do you want to go and purchase the licenses? Okay, so here let's back up. Let's walk through the wizard again and kind of look at some of my other options. Here I'm going wizards, and again, just back to application management. We're going to opt for the second um, configuration, so the list of applications to manage. Now you'll see when I opt for this one, it's going to allow me to monitor, so track the usage, um, prohibit. So I'm going to disallow certain applications or protect, and that's more like the self-healing. So I have a software down there, and I need to ensure that it's always available. So if they install something and override a DLL, if I'm saying that I'm protecting that application, then we're going to send back down to the machine the payload that's necessary for that application to be um, available. You'll also notice here a, a schedule. So I kind of alluded to this before. If you want to say that they are able to run this um, outside of business hours, then you can implement a schedule that allows you to do that. So here I'm going to go ahead and hit Next. And we'll call this um, FC application. <laughs> 